Find the interval of convergence. Here we have a series, n equals 1 to infinity of n x to the n over 4 to the n times n squared plus 1. And this we have a variable, so we're going to have to find the values that cause this to converge. Let's start out with the ratio test. We have the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of n plus 1 times x to the n plus 1 over 4 to the n plus 1. And then we have n plus 1 squared and then plus 1. We'll multiply that times 4 to the n, n squared plus 1 over, uh, we have n x to the n. We have the limit as n approaches infinity of, here we have uh, n plus 1 times n squared plus 1. That'll end up being n to the third. And then we have one extra x in the top. And over, let's see, we have a, one extra 4 in the denominator. And we have n times n plus 1 squared plus 1. Now if we do the limit on n, in the denominator and the numerator, both of these, the leading terms, will be n to the third. So this goes to, uh, we just have x over 4, and that has to be less than 1. So negative 1 is less than x over 4 is less than 1. And then we have negative 4 less than x less than 1. So we, 4, I mean, not 1, but 4. Now we have uh, the interval of convergence, and this uh, converges absolutely from negative 4 to 4 so far. But let's, let, let's test the endpoints. We have x equals negative 4. And when we plug this in, let's see what we have. We have n equals 1 to infinity of n times negative 4 to the n over 4 to the n. And then we have n squared plus 1. And when we look at the negative 4 and the 4, here's what we have. We have uh, really negative 4 over 4 to the nth power, and then times n over n squared plus 1. Negative 4 over 4 is negative 1, so this becomes an alternating series. n equals 1 to infinity. We have negative 1 to the n times n over n squared plus 1. Let's see if uh, th this series converges absolutely, so if it does, then uh, this, the original series will converge absolutely at negative 4. So let's look at uh, the absolute value of this one. We have n equals 1 to infinity of n over n squared plus 1. And uh, we can compare this to n equals 1 to infinity of, if we have n over n squared, that's the same as 1 over n. And this one converges, converges, by harmonic series, by harmonic series. And uh, let's do the, the limit comparison test to show that this actually diverges. So now we have the limit as n approaches infinity of n over n squared plus 1 and then times n over 1, which becomes the limit as n approaches infinity of n squared over n squared plus 1, and that's equal to 1 which is finite and positive. And since uh, it's finite and positive, this uh, diverges, diverges by limit comparison test. Comparison test. So now we know that uh, the series does not converge absolutely at negative 4, but it can still converge conditionally. So this is the one right here that we're looking at. Uh, we can say that uh, a sub n is greater than 0 for uh, n greater than or equal to 1. We can also say that the limit as n approaches infinity of n over n squared plus 1 is equal to 0. And then we have to show that this is actually a decreasing function. So let's, uh, let's have f of x equal x over x squared plus 1, and then the derivative is bottom times derivative of the top, which is 1. Uh, so bottom times derivative of top minus top times the derivative of the bottom, and then that's going to be over the bottom squared. 
and that's equal to, we have uh, 1 minus x squared on the top over x squared plus 1 squared, because this will be 2x squared. We really have x squared plus 1 minus x squared. Now for uh, values bigger than or equal to 1, actually bigger than 1, uh, we'll have 1 minus, let's say, 4 when x is 2. So uh, eventually this is a decreasing function. So that's going to be less than 0 for uh, n greater than or equal to, actually just greater than, uh, 1 actually. So it is a decreasing function. So we can say converges by alternating series test. So now we know that uh, this original function converges uh, conditionally at negative 4. What about x equals positive 4? So x equals positive 4, and since negative 4 created negative 1 to the n, positive 4 is going to create positive 1 to the n. Uh, so we have, uh, let's see, we have the series n equals 1 to infinity of, I have to keep scrolling up here, uh, n x to the n. So we have n times 4 to the n over 4 to the n times n squared plus 1. Uh, so now if we take care of the 4s, we have n equals 1 to infinity, and this right here, the, the 4 to the n over 4 to the n, that'll be 1. So we're left with n over n squared plus 1. And we already showed that this diverges by the limit comparison test. So diverges by limit comparison test. Limit comparison test. So what can we say about the original series? We can say that uh, converges conditionally uh, at x equals negative 4. We can just say that this thing converges from negative 4 to 4 because it does converge there conditionally and then we can say converges absolutely absolutely on negative 4 to 4